Hey guys, Daryl here with Tactical Existence. So we've been asked several times to do a series on EDC, um, and since we test quite a bit of weapons and gear, we decided to go ahead and do that. This is going to be uh, episode one, I guess, in the EDC series. So I'm going to go ahead and move the camera over here to the table, and uh, go ahead and show you what I'm carrying today. All right, guys. So I came over and put the camera on a tripod. It's just going to be much easier to show everything with this on the tripod and both my hands free. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first, I'm carrying the Glock 42. We've been testing this since it came out. This is the 380 ACP that Glock just released after SHOT Show. Uh, still not a big proponent of 380, but, uh, you know, I really do like the Glock 42. And uh, the wife's been carrying it quite a bit, and I've carried it a few times as well. And we've shot it quite a bit, really, um, really enjoying it. And we've been carrying that in a uh, Cook's holster. This is a black carbon fiber inside the waistband. These guys make some excellent holsters. Um, we're going to be doing a full review of this as well, but a uh, really nice holster. And I'm going to go ahead and put the gun back into the holster there. Let's see. And if you're carrying a six shot 380, of course, you definitely want to carry a spare magazine. I normally carry a spare magazine anyway, but um, with just seven rounds, six in the magazine, one in the tube, you want to carry a spare mag. Um, today, I'm also carrying a 511. I think this is a PLX. This is the new version of their uh, flashlights. I do like Surefire and Streamlight as well. Um, five sevens, um, Phoenix. There, there, there's some really nice lights out there. But I've carried the old version. This is the new version. I've carried them for a long time and never had any issues. So probably will be doing a review of that as well. And this is a Tough Rider. Um, we just got these in recently. We got two versions. We have this one and we have a push button version. These are really fine writing instruments. Um, they write really well, but they're also impact weapons if you need them to be. Now this one is a screw off version. Um, cap goes on the back. So if you are using it as impact weapon, uh, no danger of that coming off because it screws on. So there's that. As far as knives, I'm carrying a uh, Strider today. Um, any of you knife guys out there know, I mean, excellent knife. You really can't go wrong with a nice Strider. Um, these are fine, fine knives. These are not the uh, cheapest knives in the world, but uh, well worth the money in my opinion. Probably be doing a review of that as well. And then just a key to the car. And then this is a uh, business card holder that I got from John Willis at SHOT Show. This thing is really nice. Um, they make some excellent stuff. Um, we'll be doing some review of some of SOE's products here shortly. But this is really nice. Thanks, John, for that, by the way. And then as far as a wallet, I don't carry a traditional uh, trifold or bifold wallet anymore because I filled it full of junk all the time and it got too big and was uncomfortable. So now I just carry something like this. This is much more comfortable and I don't carry as much junk in my wallet anymore. Um, almost done. This is a survival bracelet. I wear these every day. This is made by uh, Survival Straps. Really uh, nice survival bracelets. Um, we maybe will do a review on this as well. Uh, I'll contact those guys and talk to them about maybe doing that. Um, this basically has a lifetime warranty. If you ever do have to unravel it and use it in an emergency situation, all you do is write them a note uh, telling them what you used it for basically and basically giving them the story. Send them in the hardware, the metal pieces, and they'll wrap you up with a new one. So pretty cool. And then this is an Isobrite uh, made by Armorlite. This is an awesome, awesome watch. Um, we're almost done with our review. We've been using this ever since uh, SHOT Show, so we've got some time with it. And I really, really like this thing. So uh, look for the review of this really soon. This is going to compete with like your Luminox and stuff like that so and then uh, other than my wedding ring that's that's it that's what I carry today besides this the one of the most important elements to my EDC which we will be doing a review of this as well this is a Cobra belt um, by SOE uh, gear 
uh, John Willis, the same guy that makes that made the uh, little business card holder, also makes this. We do have a EDC belt, which is a different buckle that doesn't protrude out the front um, like the Cobra buckles can. Um, we will be doing a review of those as well, but really good stuff. Go check those guys out if you haven't. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is my EDC for today. This is the first video in the series. Uh, we'll do lots more. We weren't, we're not going to do them on a regular schedule, um, but when I think about it, I'll do a uh, pocket dump and show you guys what I'm carrying that day. So like always, guys, don't forget, tactical is not just a word. It's a mindset and a lifestyle. Thanks for watching, guys.